All right, y'all. Let's see. You guess what this is? Yes. Why, well, yes, it is. Elbow macaroni. And I'm going to make some tuna, tuna macaroni pasta. Okay. I have my tuna here all drained. I put like a big old scoop of mayo, mix that up. And I put quite a bit of pasta here. Probably a bit over two cups of pasta. So I'm going to let that boil and cook up. And I probably won't put all that pasta with the tuna. I'm not sure yet. But y'all know I make spaghetti so I could use it for that too. I'll see how much because this is quite a bit of tuna. It's a whole can of tuna. So I'm going to put um, as many veggies as I can plus a little bit of let's see, salt and pepper. Just a teeny bit of pepper. Alrighty. Maybe some garlic. Hell, let's try it. Because why not? Alright, garlic powder. And let's see. What is this? What do we have here? Well, they're both yellow mustard, so. I'll open up the one with the least amount. So I like a hint of mustard, but I don't like a lot. I prefer a lot of mayo, a lot of ketchup, but not a lot of mustard. So let's do that. A dollop, a dollop. And here I am, sipping on coffee. I've been sipping on coffee uh, most of the day for days days in a row all right now this is looking really really wet which is good because I'm gonna have the macaroni I may even need to add another scoop full of mayo if it's not enough but that's already looking delicious all right I'll bring you back when I put everything together so I keep forgetting, um, every time I go to the grocery store, AKA Walmart, really, I keep forgetting to get one of them bigger frying pans or a deep, a deep one where I can like saute a bunch of veggies or make a big old thing of fried rice. But like, I'm not gonna be able to cook much of that in my little frying pan. Cause that's pretty much like, so you guys have an idea. I think this is like a eight inch little frying pan, which was perfect for when we lived in the van, but not for an actual house and trying to get leftovers and all that. It's, it's hard to do. So yeah, that gives you guys an idea of the size of the little frying pan, which every time I go to Walmart, I forget and it's like, I need a bigger one. I need a bigger one. So hopefully I'll remember this week and go get a bigger one because I actually need it to cook more of a bulk or leftover so I don't have to cook every day, every meal. But you guys, this is delicious just as, as it is. Oh my God, it's so good. And I made rice and pinto beans. So like I could get a cup of rice and like scoop some of this tuna mixed with some veggies oh, that would be just delicious on its own so i was thinking that a good van life or a good van camper van van life meal i guess would be the tuna macaroni salad buy you a little bag of the frozen mixed vegetables or whatever vegetables you like a can of tuna and also get um, some of these mayo packets and mustard or whatever you like to mix in there seasonings don't need to be refrigerated so you're good to have that mix it all in there and all you need to do is just boil some pasta and mix it all together eat that for the whole day you know and a lot of times i tried where to not have leftovers when i was in the van so cook something or make something or buy enough just for the day 
So this would be perfect because I would boil as much pasta as I think I need for lunch and dinner. And that's my meal for the day. So here's the frozen bag of sweet peas. And it's got four servings. So I would actually mix this whole bag with one thing of tuna and then however much macaroni I wanted. And that would give me plenty of, of vegetables. Um, plus if I had like carrots or something else or corn or any other kind of veggie left over, like that would be an idea. So you were like, okay, well I don't have a fridge or I don't have a cooler or I don't have blah, blah, blah in my van or in my car. Okay, that's perfect. One can of tuna with your uh, little mayo packets, mustard packets, whatever, whatever seasonings you like. You grab one little bag like this. They even have the mixed vegetable ones. Um, mix that all together, plus a cup or whatever of pasta. And all you have to worry about is boiling the pasta. Everything else you can just leave, leave out until the pasta is ready. Mix it all up and eat it throughout the day. And then my multi-purpose pot, the instant pot, the three quarter, three quart, quarter, how would you say that? Anyway, yeah, this is a good mixing bowl. Um, obviously for the instant pot, you cook in it, do whatever you need, but it also is good for if you need to wash up or you need to do just about anything. This is perfect. It's a little stained because I do a lot of the beans which doesn't bother me, but I know you guys are going to see that, so that's why I'll, I'll address it. But, I mean, really, I don't care. And, um, yeah, so this is, like, plenty big to even mix in there and eat out of for the whole day. So, that's a pretty good idea. Actually, I'm thinking of making a video with easy van life and car life meals that would be good all right here it is i put all the tuna in here the whole bag of peas and when the macaroni is done i'm just going to put it in here and mix it all together so that is going to be lunch and dinner for me i'm extremely glad that i kept the kept the instant pot and the accessories that i had got so this is like a steamer basket and they had some mesh ones, but this one, I'm pretty sure it's stainless, not aluminum. And it's perfect because you can steam. It's got the little legs there. So when I insert it in here to steam or anything, um, I can just put enough water to cover the bottom and my food won't be all drowning in water. But also I use it as a strainer. So my pasta is done. And all I do is strain it. shake a little and it's nice it has this little rubbery thing I don't know if it's silicone or rubber I won't burn my my hands when I do this but just drain it as good as I can it's so handy and this is for the three quart three quart it fits perfectly in there I guess you could put in the six quart or the bigger ones but this fits perfectly for the the three quart put probably about half of that in there mix it up and then see if that's enough if anything i will add more pasta or more mayo or whatever else i need look at that you guys that already looks so good mm -mm -mm. i'll let the the hot macaroni kind of thaw out the peas because they were still frozen now I'm just going to put some of this spaghetti sauce in with the leftover pasta. So I'll be doing some meal prepping. So I'll be able to eat spaghetti and I can also put um, some of that spinach, which I think I will. I'll put some spinach here and there you go. Have like a side of broccoli or whatever with it. But now I've meal prepped 
for a couple days already. So I just put a little bit of this pasta sauce. But yeah, um, I don't know. Cora might want some of this, but she might not because she's trying to do the keto, keto meals right now. So right now I'm just kind of meal prepping for myself. And she's cooking her meals. Okay, so I decided to put quite a bit of spinach in here. I'll mix this up and hopefully just with the warmth of the, the pasta, it'll wilt. But if not, I can always heat it up a little bit. And then, like I was saying, have uh, some carrots on the side or have some broccoli on the side. Oh, I'm making a mess here. But yeah, I'll mix this up and then I'll show you. All right, I gave it a good mix. I'm just gonna cover it and let it, the heat just kind of wilt that away. Ready? Here's a big bowl of the tuna macaroni salad. And there's still quite a bit left. So I'm just gonna put this in a container and put it in the fridge. And I decided to um, heat this up some because the what do you call it? The spinach just was not wilting. So I'll heat it through and then put this in a storage container and pop it in the fridge too. And here we go. So now I have enough for lunch and dinner for tomorrow. Or I might have this, half of this for dinner for tonight. And then this for lunch right now. Alrighty, here we go. I've got my containers. I'm about to put the lid on there, but just wanted to show you real quick. I've got meals for the next couple days, or I can even spread this out for um, this week and also eat a can of soup in between or a sweet potato or whatever. So basically, four or five meals is what this will end up being. I still need to do the the cabbage and uh, veggie stir fry. So I mean, I still have quite a bit of stuff and I also made rice, I made beans. So, but at least I got a couple different meals that if I'm not feeling like cooking, it's already done, just scoop it and reheat it, we're good to go. And Cora over here doing her first keto meal. Mm -hmm. It's egg. Um, breakfast sausage and spinach. Bunch of spinach. There you go, pile that spinach up. Mm -hmm. Now that's gonna be good. So it is. All right, Miss Cora. Okay, Cora's making her another keto meal. So she got two eggs, mayo, nice. tuna. This one looks good for keto. Um, I don't know. Probably. So what are you trying to do here? Well, basically, it was gonna be uh, we're gonna cook some eggs, scramble them to mix with the tuna, and then I would have my lettuce or like make little tacos, but lettuce tacos with the tuna on it, or even just put it on top of a salad, on top of um, also on top of green beans is really good too. I like it. Oh, okay. So, but I also have this. I don't really know if this is too keto friendly, but I mean, um, it's it sits pretty good on my stomach. This does so per so half the container is 160 calories, so that's pretty good. And the whole one is 340. And this is uh, I like this brand. It, it does pretty good in my stomach. So. Sweet potato, sweet potato, and coffee, baby. Let's get this going. I don't know about you, but coffee sounds good with just about anything. 
even a sweet potato. Look at this. This is in the microwave, you guys. It's so soft. It's delicious. OMG, you guys, look what Cora found at the thrift store. How cool is this? For $17.99. It's a solid and heavy little thing. Look at that. That's cute. We'll have to try to find some chairs. But for now, we'll probably use those camping chairs. This is cute. Look at this. That is cute. All right, let's try to get it in here now. All right, this is what it looks like. Bring it in my chair. Yeah. How cute is that, you guys? Super cute. It looks smaller in the camera. Mm -hmm. It's a good size, actually. Yeah. And Cora found a cute mirror. Look at that. Now that looks like one of those little windows over in a... In a boat. That's cool. Plus, yeah. Plus, yeah. she got this. It's like a decoration mason jar with some flowers. That's cute. <laughs> she just jumped right up on there. Oh gosh. So, first meal on the table. Check it out, you guys. Wow. Now, why does it look huge now? Look at that. It makes me look smaller, that's fine. <laughs> all, of, all up in your biscuits. <laughs> Can you make coasters on your teespring? I'm not sure. I'll have to check. Well, we'll see. I got this coaster, but that would be cool if we made our coasters. Put your face on it. Yeah, put my face on it. Yeah, I've been um, nope. on teespring. Nope. And I think and they're changing the name to spring or something like that now. But yeah, I've been doing a bunch of designs for basically most most of the ones I've been putting on mugs. So you guys go check that out. I'll leave the link down below. Look at our new dining table with decoration and we're watching Vanning with Ada. Oh yeah. Thanks so much for watching Dia's Frugal Life. I'm Dia. And if you enjoyed the content, make sure to subscribe for more future videos.